Now we'll keep track of the score. Create a new global variable named score. And now in the event where we get to the goal, system add to variable like 100. Do the same in the up movement with something lower like 10. And in the event where we go down, subtract the same amount. This is how the original game seems to work. Now in the UI layer, create a new sprite found object and set its properties. If you are not familiar with a sprite object, you can check the link below. Now in the event sheet, create an on, on every tick, set our sprite found text to score. Now that it's working, clone the score objects to keep track of the lives. Create a new global variable lives and set it to 3. Then, in the same on every tick, set lives text to global variable lives. And if you want to show the zero in front of the numbers, add the zero path function. Set the global variable as number and digits to 2. Then, the same with the score. Look for the event where the frog is destroyed and subtract one from lives, and place that action on top of the list. Then create a sub-event and check if the number of lives is greater than zero, then respawn the frog. Now the game has a time limit. Create another global variable named timer and set it to, let's say, 60 seconds. Then clone the live sprite font to show the time left. Change its name and set its, and set its text to timer value. Next, create this event. If timer is greater than zero,
and on every one second, subtract one from timer. If the timer is less or equal than zero, set life to zero and destroy the frog. So either you have three lives or 60 seconds to complete the level. Set the timer to three just to check how it works. Our variable management is ready. Only thing left is the game over and resetting game options. So, see you in the last part of the series.